So now we're going to tackle the map module, which is probably the module I use the less in uh, in Lightroom. And the way this module works is basically when you come to him, you have like Google map. And so I on purpose took a few iPhone photo. This is by the way, an iPhone 10 max photo. And if I click on this, I can see where the photo was taken. So this is El Matador State Beach uh, here in Malibu. So you cl click on that and you can see there is like four photos. There is this one. This is actually a Sony A7R 3 photo, which I copied and I'll show you how to do that as a GPS coordinate from an iPhone photo to my Sony A7R 3. And that is all my Sony's photo. If I go, for example, this is an iPhone photo also in Paris. So this is the Opera in Paris. You can click here and you can see the photo where it was taken. This is Rue de Rivoli, another, uh, another part of Paris. Oh yeah, but this one, uh, well, this one should have some coordinates. Yes, it should have. Oh, this is weird. This, see, this one does not have GPS coordinate. I must have messed up something. So not all the iPhone photos, for some reason, have GPS coordinate. When they do, you can see here that they have this little symbol here uh, showing that they have actual coordinates. Now, what you can do is, let's say, and that's something that's kind of cool to do. Let's say you took a photo. Uh, uh, this is a, a photo from the Sony. Well, let me show you. This is a photo I took with Sony A7R 3 Normally, let's say, because I already did it, it doesn't have GPS coordinate. What you can do is... You can take a, so you can do all your photo with like with your Sony and with your Nikon and with your Canon, which don't have GPS, but you take one photo with your iPhone or your Android phone that has a GPS. You take the photo, you right click and you go to metadata, uh, boom, 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 preset, and you click on copy metadata. Come this screen, uh, by default, everything is, I think is turned off. The camera info is what you want. You see, this is a GPS coordinate. So I can click here, copy, and then I can go on this photo, for example, which I don't think, yeah. You see, this one doesn't have that symbol. It's got no GPS coordinate. I can right click and I can go to metadata, paste metadata. And now look at this, boom. I can click on it. And now we can see there is five photo, two Sony A7R 3 and three iPhone photos that have a, a GPS coordinate. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, you can create locations. Um, you can also search, like you can, you can, for example, for this photo, I don't have any GPS, but I want to add a GPS coordinate. So I can say, for example, I can go here and I can type, uh, this is Rue de Rivoli in Paris. Okay. And then uh, I can take the photo and I can drag and drop it here. Uh, and now this one has got a GPS coordinate. That's another way to do it. If you know where the photo was taken, like this is, this is, for example, this is taken from the, uh, this is the Eiffel Tower. So I took it from the Pont Beer Akim, uh, which I believe is here. Yeah, I took it exactly from here. So I can click and drag the photo there. Okay, I could like save a location, uh, which is like the Eiffel Tower photo, or let's go, uh, Paris is about, um, I think 10 miles long. So let's go 10 miles. And now I have all uh, my photos of Paris here. So you can see the locations is here. I have got three photos. So I can um, take this one, for example, uh, and create another location, which would be like uh, Malibu, for example. So Malibu is very big. It's 30 miles long. So let's go for 15. So we have got all of Malibu. And now in that location, I've got uh, Malibu, I've got five photos and Paris, three photos. So now there's one thing I, I want to tell you is that if you manage, if you have the discipline, which I definitely don't, I wish, you know, the, the cameras, will have every camera will have a GPS included just for the sake of having the GPS data in it. Uh, there is two things that I find useful with GPS data. The first one is, let's say you're like driving around and you see this beautiful uh, view of Paris or whatever. And uh, let me go to the development so you can see, you see this beautiful view or like you like that angle. You can take an iPhone photo from it and it will have GPS coordinate and you can using your iPhone or, or the map module here, you can come back to it and see exactly where it is. So it's kind of a great way to, you know, like bookmark geo uh, actual places around the globe. And I do that all the time. Like let's say I'm driving, I see something nice, you know, I see a beautiful view, boom, I take a photo of it and I put it into my like favorite on my iPhone and I know where that is because I take so many photos of my iPhone. If I don't put it in my favorite, it just disappears. So that's one good way. But there is something else, guys. If you actually take the time to put in the GPS coordinate, which I don't, I'll be honest, I don't, it's going to give you a better um, indexing on Google once you upload this photo to your like Squarespace, Wix or a um, slick pick website 
which I think Sleepik is the best, uh, you know, to basically it's going to take this data and Google image is going to see it and it can bring you some business. So uh, at least take the time to geotag your best photo, which you can do manually like I did here. Like, let's say I wanted to geotag this one, you know, well, I, I did, you know, just type in the name and you drag and drop it on the map and you're good to go. So that's what I do. And that's how I use the map module.